Richmond Raceway for race number four. Welcome everyone to Richmond Raceway for race number four of the Exalta Truck Series. Our third short track in a row. And once again, under the lights. Yeah, I know I repeated myself twice right there. I don't know. Drivers, start your engines. Not the very good with this. But the engines are fired up, and the field is set, and they're rolling right off. So Richmond has gone through extreme renovations. It looks a lot newer, a lot fancier, and uh, finally we got ourselves into Richmond. It's been, I think 2012 was the latest before this was made. Looks pretty good, nice and uh, fancy. I believe Chevrolet still leads in the manufacturer points. I've still not calculated the team points. And the more I hold it off, the more tedious and time consuming. So I better do it now. Green flag, we're underway here at Richmond. And trouble with one truck, it's the four. Josh Cage already down pit road. Celius Wolf having to catch up to the field into turn one they go. Let's see how the new Richmond goes through. Oh, trouble already, the 88. Oh, the leader to three. He gets hooked and everyone wrecks. 54. Brad Cheston. He gets through and looks like he'll lead the first lap. Well, wow. well, unexpected. Well, caution is out right on the first lap. We'll take a look at the replay. First started out with Jeff per uh, Pearson. Yep, still didn't fix it. Uh, looks like his teammate got into him and he just fly out dumped him. It's like he just had no patience and just turned him around in turn one. And two. Or just turn two. Take a look at that again. Run on board. Wouldn't want me on a team meeting. And of course with the team points now. It's even worse to get into your teammate. Made contact with him twice. First time got him sideways and second time spun him out. Then we move up to the field, the pole sitter, Ryan Hannigan, a little bit too high, gets into the wall, bounces right off, hooks the three, David Davison, he hits the wall, and then Ryan Hannigan, he just pins the 98 into the wall, and then everyone just, well, not everyone, a couple of guys, or several guys, started to stack up, oh, Ryan Hannigan nearly going upside down on his side, 45, as well. No, no, I mean the 49, not the 45. What do you have, Pi? 75 truck? Yep. Wow. A lot of damage on these trucks. We're at least going to see at least one or two of these guys out of the race. But uh, there you have it. First caution of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. The O2 truck, the only one to retire from the race. From that rack, at least. 32 trucks remain, 31 on the lead lap. Brad Chesson in the 54 in front, followed by David Davison in the 3. And North Wilkes Row winner Jake Jefferson in 3rd. Greg Graff is 4th, and Ryan Butcher is in 5th. Pace truck is in, here we go, getting ready for the green. Green flags out, back underway. Hopefully a much cleaner lap. And to turn 1 they go. All the way up the racetrack. Oh, trouble again. So not going to be a clean lap at all. The three, Davison looking inside. Fight back there for fifth place. And once again, it's the 54 at the line. Second caution of the night already. We'll take a look at the replay. Once again, it's the 88 truck, but it looks like it might have started with the 97. He went up high and... Trying to clear him and he just takes him to the wall. Slide back down and hits the inside wall as well. More damage on the 88 truck. Not a good night. And we're not even 10 laps in. And he's already involved in two wrecks. And that's about it. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out. Here we go. Marcus Attaching now down a lap. Three trucks remain on the lead lap. Here we go. Green flag. 
back underway. I think we need at least half the field to a crash until we get a green flag lap. Battle for second. Here comes the six on the inside. Four trucks out there goes the 87 and the 51. Still a problem here. Three way battle. The six on the middle nearly turns him. Jay Jefferson sneaks through on the inside. He'll take the yellow flag. And the third caution is out again. All right, uh, three cautions in a row. That's what I meant to say. All right, let's take a look at the replay. These guys really like to use the outside line, but it's not working out. First, start with Travis Chapman. He's in the wall. Orius got into him. Got him to McGann. Both of them spin around right in front. First to 16, and then you all know, just back, just pretty much stack into each other again on the back straightaway. Oh, trucks are without hoods. I mean, even more trucks without hoods now. What chaos. And then they're wrecking even more. 83 going around, 25 around again. On the 88 involving the third yellow, and it looks like that's, uh, that wasn't finished. Floating red light. And then the 97 coming in, flying in turn four. I was on down on the apron. Or he is just trying to get back, trying to get the pit road, and Marco is trying to get off the apron and back on the racetrack. So our third yellow in a row. We'll take you back to the restart. So if they, even if they keep it green, we're gonna have to wear out the yellow again. We're almost at the halfway point. So they most likely got a crash. So I might not have to throw a yellow for my dad manually. 27 trucks remain, 23 on the lead lap. Jay Jefferson, Brad Chesson, Greg Graff, your top three. Followed by Ryan Butcher, David Davison, and Trey Wright, your top six. Pace truck is in, here we go. Green flag. Couple of show trucks backing up. 25, and uh, who else? I think it's just a 25. Look at them. Look at them here. Oh, trouble 15 goes around. And that brings out the yellow. And it looks like Jake Jefferson will take the stage win. He'll still need to make one more lap. One more lap. I might as well just uh, keep it live. So it wouldn't have mattered. Jay Jefferson looking to make it two in a row. He's got a nice truck once again. Alright, here they come to the stage. Jay Jefferson, he's gonna win the stage. Followed by Brad Cheston. Ryan Butcher, Craig Graff, David Davison, Lightning Blaze, Ryan Hannigan, who is somehow seventh, uh, Tony Green, Tim Randolph, and Al Lagasy, who has no hood, and he's able to get the last point. So those, those are your official stage results, and now we'll take a look at the replay now. Trey Wright in the 15, and Derek Hamill in the 10. Right off of turn two, the 10 dump another driver, or... No, 15, he got into the 3. And I came across the 10 cars, 10 trucks nose. And it spun right around. So far, our... Our most... Less, our minor wreck, I guess. They just spun right out. And that's it. I'll take you back to the restart. So here we go. Ryan Butcher in the 22 just had a header go bad. Under yellow, he was third. And... Uh, well, that's it for him. Not a good start to the season as the pace truck pulls in. Here we go. Green flag. Green, green, green. Back underway. So the wall and the outside line still an issue. They just keep getting on into it. Looks to be clean. Will we get our first green flag lap? Finally, I don't see any lights. 
And yes, finally. Green flag lock completed. Once again, 13 and 54. First and second. And there's a yellow flag. Just when we completed one green flag lap, yellow comes out again for the fifth time. Oh, Jake Jefferson again the leader. He's probably not happy about this. I don't think any of the guys in the top five are happy about this. Or anyone who isn't wrecking. You know, 15 car again, Trey Wright truck. Alright, we'll take a look at the replay. This time on the front straightaway, the 16 Alexander Rowe gets dumped by the 98 of Noodles. So this doesn't have to do with anyone bouncing off walls this time. And uh, Trey Wright, nowhere to go to 25, just pushed through, got a piece. But uh, that was it. Trey Wright runs right in the back of the 98. Uh, it took a while again to throw the yellow. Because they didn't, they didn't want to, and then they did anyways. So our fifth of the night, Gary Richmond, will take you back to the restart. Nine to go when they take the green. I believe this is our first truck race here at Richmond International, and something happened to Brad Cheston. He's now down a lap. He was second, and... Oh. Well, there he goes. Green flag. And a great restart for the 13. I think that puts a little pressure off the of off Jake Jefferson. Because everyone knows Brad Cheston is one uh, crazy driver. Still don't know how he does it. Who well, you knows? The 6 could be fast. The rookie. He takes it up to the outside. The 8 truck made a debut in the late model series. Finished second in the second race, I think the Boston doubleheader, but that was the only thing to show for. And the three going up way too high, he got to the 52, and he crashes again. And I'll bring out the six caution, and the 45 just runs into him. And again, it'll be the 13. And we'll take a look at the replay of the eight. Beat at the sixth of the line. Moves up to second. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. I don't know how David Davidson is in the top five to begin with, but he races Tim Randolph really hard into the corner. Thought he had him cleared. I think if Ryan Hannigan wasn't there, they probably would have just smacked the ball and kept on going. But if over, but still an over aggressive move by David Davidson the three. He didn't get nailed by the 45 truck. Uh, pretty much is it for the 45. No smoke, but lots of damage and a big impact. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, the lights just turned off. Two laps to go. Will we see another overtime finish? And will Jake Jefferson get another win? Two wins still doesn't officially lock you in. He still needs to be in 25th, but with the stage win already. And another win. 43 points. It's a lot of points. I think I, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Okay, um, my Martinsville's next. I thought Richmond was, for some reason, the third race. It was our second race for three, uh, short tracks in a row. Pace truck is in. Here we go. Two laps. Can they do it? Will Jay Jefferson get his second win, or will the two rookies find a way to jump him? Green flag. That was a 10 and 4th. Got caught in a few messes, but I think, um... So many cars crashing and wrecking into each other. The 8. Oh, way too high, way too high. Into the wall, gone to the 10, and they spin. More crashing behind. We're going on overtime again. There it is. Yellow flag is out. Yellow and white. My god, what's up with these trucks? They just keep it in the wall. I need to do a real big change here. Really, really big change. But, uh, we'll take a look at the replay first. Lieutenant Derek Hamill was fourth. The A truck just uh, threw it away. 
to a good chance of a good finish at least. Bounce off the wall. Oh, then he didn't wreck though. 10 goes around, and then the 20 of our legacy. And then the 98 nails to 10. Just destroys his own truck. Now legacy was still in the top 10 area. was 11 actually. But battling Tony Green, he got into him. Spun right around. And once again, piling into each other. Any more? Well, there's a two. And that was it. Alright, so we'll see the results of the line, and we'll take you to overtime. So there you have it. So Jay Jefferson and Great will be leading once again. Two green white checkers in a row, and it'll be the 13 in front. So there will be, let's see, uh, 20, 20 trucks. 20 trucks. Derek Hamill will finish 21st. Anyone who's a lap down will get their laps back. Anyways, out of the race, that's their official results. Well, Derek Hamill just said 21st. So, 20 trucks. 20 trucks. And uh, you guys know the rules. The new rules. Two laps. Cautions are on. Unlimited attempts until they take the white flag. And uh, we'll now take you two overtime. Alright, here we go. Overtime for the second race in a row. Jake Jefferson again. Out in front, pace truck is in. Here we go. Will we only need one attempt again, or will there need to be multiple attempts? We'll see. Here we go. Green flag is out, and Davison does not get going at all back there. That could be a problem. Look at the 52 Tim Randolph. He takes it in there three wide in the one. Everyone taking it easy. The six on the good run on the outside. That's why they like the outside line. What a 13 get him back in three. That's how he got the lead, and he does! Here they come to the white flag, looks like everyone makes it through. White flag is out, one more time around. The rookie, in second. All the way to the bottom, they go. Peaks outside. Still peeking on the outside, the seven is there in the third. But they're not close enough to make a move. Checkered flag. Two wins in a row for the 13 team. Jake Jefferson wins at Richmond. Wow, another great performance by the 13 team. Without any damage or anything like that. We'll take a look at the full race results now. So there are the official results for the 20 other drivers. Jake Jefferson with the victory again. Greg Graff, Max Anderson, Adam McDowell, Lightning Blaze, Tony Green, Chris Kyle, Tim Randolph, Joe Jefferson, and Ryan Hannigan. A pretty clean green white checker that was. I think I should have done that from the start. Maybe. Well, well, the race is already over, so I don't think Martins will have that problem. Maybe. But uh, I'll take you to victory lane. Jake Jefferson, your race winner.